Hello, I'm Dr. Ingvild Olsen, Director of the Center for Substance Abuse Treatment at SAMHSA. Today, I'll discuss mobile medication units as part of opioid treatment programs, or OTPs, in the revised 42 CFR Part 8 rule. The key points are, mobile medication units are self-contained components of opioid treatment programs, or OTPs. They can provide the full range of services, including medication dispensing, testing, and counseling. Units can be motorized vehicles or movable structures deployed to underserved or hard to reach areas. They aim to expand geographic reach of OTPs, particularly in rural areas, jails, or prisons. Mobile units must operate under certified OTP oversight adhering to federal and state regulations. Units can use telehealth on the mobile unit to provide services and links to community-based resources. In accordance with DEA rules, mobile medication units typically return to the home OTP daily for accounting and secure storage of controlled medications. In certain circumstances and with strict security parameters, a waiver to this requirement may be possible. The application for such a waiver can be submitted to the DEA and must include the proposed alternate return period, enhanced security measures, and any other factors that should be considered. Mobile units have the potential to significantly expand access to life-saving MOUD and support long-term recovery for individuals with OUD. Please visit samsa.gov slash part eight for more information and videos in this series.